How's it going guys? Difficult question for biochemistry slash internal medicine, step one, step two, nearly identical question shows up on one of the 2CK assessments. And this question I've had uh, feedback from students on the US simile and stuff I'm gonna talk about in this clip. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 41 year old woman, two hour history of mild wheezing, headache, facial flushing. Symptoms began after she ate swordfish, fried rice, unwashed blueberries, vanilla custard. Which of the following is most likely explanation for these findings? Okay, let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice E, sodium channel disruption, wrong fucking answer. This could refer to tetradetoxin. Uh, that you can get from puffer fish causes neurologic disturbance paralysis it could refer to saxitoxin which causes neurologic disturbance paresthesias from shellfish and it can be ciguatera poisoning that's on usmla okay that's going to be temperature dysesthesia hot feels cold cold feels hot and someone who's eaten meaty fish recently wrong fucking answer Choice D, inhibition of acetylcholinesterase, wrong answer. This would refer to organophosphate poisoning, uh, someone who's been on a farm, fruit picking. You assembly wants you to know that you prevent this uh, by wearing gloves, not a mask. That's asked on one of the NBME assessments. You get through your hands, not inhalation. Obviously causes cholinergic symptoms slash signs. Okay, you're going to get pinpoint pupils, drooling. Uh, they want well, you know you treat with atropine first, then pralidoxime. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, heat stable toxin, wrong answer. This is uh, staph aureus preformed uh, toxin that you, that causes food poisoning. All right. So uh, custards, dairy, um, potato salad, okay, sometimes meat that's been uh, sitting out for a while under a heat lamp that'll cause vomiting within one to six hours of consumption, plus or minus diarrhea. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, germination of spores, wrong answer. This could refer to bacillus cereus. We have the fried rice here, okay? That's going to be diarrhea generally within six hours of consumption, plus or minus vomiting. Uh, U.S. Simile tangentially also wants you to know bacillus cereus can cause an eye infection. I know it sounds really fucking weird, but if they tell you that someone's had a recent cataract surgery, let's say, of the eye, uh, and then there's an infection with a gram-positive rod, they want you to know bacillus cereus can do that. Very fucking weird, as I just said, but just know it. Now, choice A, decarboxylation is the correct answer. Diagnosis here is scombroid. Okay, this is often misdiagnosed as allergy. Okay, not an allergy. It's going to be meaty fish. You have bacteria within decaying meaty fish, swordfish, mackerel, mahi-mahi, and the bacteria are going to convert histidine via histidine decarboxylase into histamine. Okay, and histamine is going to produce an allergy-like effect or an anaphylaxis-like effect. Okay, once again, often misdiagnosed as allergy. This is scombroid. Now, an important point I want to make, and this is very fucking important, is that if you get a very similar presentation here, sounds like an allergy maybe, but it's a poisoning, and they ask you like scombroid, shellfish, and the patient had eaten shellfish, it's not fucking scombroid. Okay, so you only get this from meaty fish. As I just fucking said, Mahi mahi, mackerel, swordfish. You do not get scombroid from shellfish. So don't get all trigger happy because you learn some weird condition. The answer would be shellfish allergy if the patient ate shellfish. Now, as I said before, if the patient gets paresthesias, neurologic disturbance after shellfish, that's saxitoxin instead. Okay, and that would be sodium channel disruption, as I mentioned. But this is scombroid. And you just need to be aware of this for you, Assimili. It's not my fucking opinion. It's on the forms, okay? So, and I've received feedback from students. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.